are these amazing hunks of metal and plastic and whatever else they use to make those things. I mean, they have so much potential to help us solve our everyday problems. And what do we use them for? Updating our status every two minutes? Posting pictures of our food onto Instagram? What about watching viral videos from... Open Gangnam Style! Gangnam Style! All the way to... Oh, those cats get me every time. But don't worry, there are actually people out there who use computers to do something useful. Yeah, I'm talking about those guys who go around in white lab coats with that crazy hair. That's right, I'm talking about the scientists. Yes, those smart people using their computers for scientific research. Okay, so you might be thinking that whenever we need to learn something new, we just have to go ask someone smart. Someone like... Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Or what about Miss Frizzle? Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip! With a frizz? No way! Sadly, I could not find an episode of the Magic School Bus that relates to the topic I have chosen. Which I should probably introduce. Ladies and gentlemen, bioinformatics. your topic and describe it in general terms. Now, the area of research known as bioinformatics doesn't exactly have a solid definition for it, as it's a relatively new science and people haven't exactly come to an agreement on what it really should be. The definition seems to change from person to person, whether you're talking about a specialized scientist, your average person, or even your friendly neighborhood hobo. In simple terms, it's biology, computer science, and information technology all wrapped up in one big scientific field of research. So what exactly do bioinformatics scientists do? They pretty much create and develop advanced information and computational technologies for problems in biology. Mainly they work on molecular biology, which is DNA, proteins, and other microscopic things that keep you alive. And I like being alive. Unless I was a zombie. But then that would be the living dead. Which is sort of living still, wouldn't it be? Anyway, bioinformatics isn't just limited to the molecular level. It's increasingly advancing in other fields of biology, like population modeling, medicine, or behavioral health data. So these smarty pants scientists pretty much create methods of storing, receiving, and analyzing data, using computers to characterize all the molecular components. This in turn allows others to thoroughly examine and find whatever it is they're looking for. So for how the computers help, well, I'd like to see someone try and do this kind of stuff without a computer. I mean, most of the time, like when dealing with genetic code, the amount of data is so massive that it would be impossible for a whole team, let alone a single person, to comprehend it all. Too much, too much, too much, too much. <laughs> And the whole bioinformatics scientist is just like an electric version of biology, which would be hard if you didn't have the electric part. Well, it's pretty much all I got. Hope that helps. Here's a video of a screaming goat. <laughs> <laughs> 